Technology on China's latest and most capable aircraft carrier has just made it part of a very exclusive club, with the United States the only other nation with the same capability. Three types of aircraft have been launched from the Fijian aircraft carrier using an electromagnetic catapult. China's fifth-generation J-35 stealth fighter, 4.5-generation J-15T fighter and KJ-600 early warning and control aircraft are all seen being successfully launched using this advanced system. Electromagnetic Aircraft Launch System, or EMALS, is said to use less energy and be maintenance-friendly compared to its steam predecessor. An electromagnetic catapult can launch every 45 seconds, with each launch taking just 3 seconds. It can consume as much as 100 million watts of energy, enough to power a small town in the same time, and adds to the longevity of the carrier's flight deck and the aircraft launching as it puts less stress on both. The EMALS is fitted onto the carrier's flight deck. It uses a linear induction motor rather than the steam piston that was used before. When a launch occurs, the power is pulled from the generator within a three-second pulse, almost like a burst of air being let out of a balloon. Afterwards, the power is drawn off, the generator is slow and the electricity drops, but within those 45 seconds between launches, the rotors kick back into gear and get ready for another burst of energy. It has the potential to achieve acceleration forces of 14 Gs. The US were the first to operate this new catapult system that uses electromagnetics. The USS Gerald R. Ford, the world's largest aircraft carrier, was certified for flight deck operations using the EMALS system in 2022, proving they can launch an aircraft from 0 to 100 knots in a matter of seconds. The electromagnetic catapult system is also capable of lifting heavier weights than steam, meaning a more varied ability to launch different aircraft to fit operations. The catapult system was the first of its kind not to use steam and was developed by General Atomics. With this detailed look, we can see just how the system is fitted below the flight deck. Another advantage they state is the reduced thermal signature. But it's not just about launching aircraft quickly and safely, but getting them back on board too. With the advanced arresting gear, the turboelectric system is designed for controlled and reliable deceleration of aircraft, landing more safely and recovering the aircraft efficiently. At the time, the UK rejected the gas-powered version of this catapult system known as Cats and Traps in favour of the ski ramp. Electromagnetic was not in existence for carrier consideration, and with their commitment to new F-35A aircraft coming into service, it would seem they have no plans to change. It's unclear whether the US and China are operating under a similar system, with China keeping it close to their chest. As they're now also at the forefront of this new technology, it could mean the Fujian ships commissioning into the People's Liberation Navy fleet could be right around the corner. Kirsty Chambers, BFBS Forces News. Thanks for watching. For more from BFBS Forces News, like and subscribe to our channel.